welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Friday. I know what you're thinking. Why are you not in your car filming your way in video? Well, as you may know, I mentioned in a couple of videos as well as over on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, head over and follow me over on Instagram that my lovely husband is purchasing a Jeep and he is in Boise on his way back. So he's not here today. Normally he is home on Fridays. He is sleeping because he starts work really early. We're talking 3, 4 a.m. So when I do my workshop, I do that at home in my office and then I leave to go film my video, which is why I'm in my car and upload it to not disturb him. But since he's not here, I'm at home. I just finished my virtual workshop logged my weight and I thought that we'd chat here in my office for a little bit before I head to the real estate office for floor time. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my week. We're going to talk about my weigh-in and what we discussed at the workshop, which was a fantastic topic. So let's get started. went pretty darn good. I got in a few days of jazzercise, which has been such an amazing thing to be able to go back to the studio. I find that I work much harder in the studio than I do if I'm just doing my jazzercise at home. And I just like the camaraderie and seeing people and the instructors. So that has been a big highlight for me is being able to go back two to four times a week in studio to do my jazzercise workout. So that's been amazing. My week went good food wise. I tracked calories and points. Yesterday was a struggle. I'm going to be honest. Thursday was a struggle. Most of the day yesterday, I did really, really well. I had my calories points pre-tracked. So I knew kind of what I was going to be eating. And then the evening came and I'm by myself. My husband's not here. I was super, super snacky. So I did eat a little bit too much yesterday, especially in the evening of just kind of snacky foods, pretzels, smart sweets, whatever I could really get my hands on. I even had some grapes whatever sounded good to me. And I was wondering why was I so hungry yesterday? I mean, really, I was pretty hungry most of the week, but yesterday, boy, it hit me. And I know why now, because this morning, my favorite part of my life started. We all know what that means. And that is why I was so hungry yesterday. And that is why I feel so blah today. So that happened, which explains a lot of where this extra hunger came from. Plus I've been really tired, which also explains that as well, because those are the two symptoms that I get during PMS is exhaustion, fatigue, and super snacky and hungry. So I'm happy with the fact that I stayed on track all week up until yesterday. So I wasn't able to put a little star in my little tracker for yesterday by staying within my calories and points, but you know what? Overall, I had a pretty darn good week. I got in my exercise, I ate well. I really got to eat a lot of my favorite foods this last week because they fell right within my calories. It was good, it was a good week. So at the workshop today, we talked about habits. And I think this is such an important topic because we all have habits maybe we don't even know that we have. And we also all have habits that we should have. So we talked about the difference between a old, pre-existing habit and kind of forging a new habit. And it's kind of along the lines of forging a new path. So when we're out on a hike, if we take the path that's been forged by other hikers or maybe put their man-made on that hiking trail, it's easy. We can walk through. We don't have to step over a lot of rocks. We don't have to trample through a lot of high, tall grasses and weeds. It's a pretty easy path to take. But what if we want to go somewhere else? What if we feel like venturing off and looking over on this side of the trail? We're going to have to forge a new path, essentially. It's going to be a lot harder. We're going to have to kick rocks out of our way, trample down those tall grasses, avoid weeds and other obstructions in the path. And that path is going to be hard to walk on until we've walked on it over and over and over again, or other hikers have taken that same path then it starts to become easier. The rocks get pushed to the side, the grass gets trampled down, the weeds and the obstructions get moved out of the way, and we have a new easier path or habit that we formed. And forging those new paths or making these new habits can seem really, really hard at first, but as time goes on and as we 
walk on these paths or do these habits, it gets a lot easier. And that's what makes a habit something that we can stick with. Not that necessarily that it's easy, but it becomes second nature. It becomes a lot less thought goes into this particular habit once we've done it for an extended period of time. I've heard different things, whether it takes 20 days, 30 days, 60 days to form a new habit. I feel for me, if I consistently do something for 30 days, it's become a habit for me. I may still need to think about it. It may not be second nature after 30 days, but it's something that just I habitually will do. As we go throughout life, as we grow as people, as we go throughout our healthy journey, we are always coming up with new paths, new habits, new things that we want to do. So I want to share four tips with you on forming new habits. And these tips come from WW. I think they are fantastic and I think they are definitely worth sharing. So let's start with tip number one. Number one is look at the big picture. Come up with a long term and this could be a very long term goal. Maybe you want to run a marathon. Maybe you have a set weight that you want to lose. Maybe you want to become a better cook or a better grocery shopper or whatever the case may be. Think about the big picture and that long term goal and write it down. It is so important to write our goals down. They stick with us. Our mind, our brain remembers them when we actually physically write them down. And it could simply be on a notepad, a sticky note, whatever it is, just write that big picture long-term goal down. Next, pinpoint an old path. Let's say that your goal is to run a marathon. What have you been doing that's taking you further away from the goal of running a marathon? What are the habits? What are the things, what are the paths that you're taking that aren't helping you get to that long-term goal, that marathon goal? Are you sitting in front of the TV at night on the couch with a bag of popcorn or some treats or are you going on a walk or doing a jog around the block or doing something that's going to get you closer to that long-term goal and that's where we need to start thinking about what paths are we taking now that are leading us away from the goal and what paths should we reformulate and become a habit that will get us closer to that long-term goal so number three is form a new path Set a new goal, make a new habit so that you can get closer to that ultimate goal. So instead of sitting down in front of the TV with a bowl of popcorn, go on a walk. Take a jog around the neighborhood, walk the dog. You know what I do? no judgment, is we have a basketball court in our backyard and if I am short on steps, I will literally do laps around the basketball court in our backyard until I hit my step goal. So instead of sitting down and going, eh, I might be 800 steps away from 10,000, I go outside and I do laps around my basketball court. Luckily, we live where we don't have neighbors that can see us because they would probably think I was nuts. But that's a good way for me to reach that goal. So instead of just going, eh, I'm not going to worry about it, I go outside, I walk, I hit my goal. So by starting these new habits, these new paths, it'll soon become second nature. So now, whenever I'm close to 10,000 steps, that's what I do. I go outside, I walk laps around my basketball court. I've been known to do it in my pajamas and slippers, but regardless, I'm hitting that goal. I'm starting new habits, I'm forming a new path. And lastly, make a new plan. There are things called choice points. So there are points throughout our day week, month, year, lifetime that we make choices. It could be something as simple as what we're putting in our mouth. When we come home from work and we're hungry and we've got an hour until dinner or our family comes home, we have a choice what we're going to snack on. Are we going to reach for fruits and vegetables or are we going to make the choice to go in our pantry and eat our kids sugary cereal, granola bars, candy, chips, cookies? We have a choice point several choice points throughout every single day. So the next time that you think about your long-term goal, running that marathon, and it comes to a choice point, sitting in front of the TV or going on a walk, that's when you really need to make a conscious effort to choose going on a walk. And maybe every time you make a good choice, write it down, write it in that same notepad, that same sticky note that you wrote your goal. And it's just going to help you visually see how you are doing, making a new path and making a new habit. So I love this topic. I think that forming new habits is really, really important. Life gets boring and mundane if we're not taking the off the beaten path and we're not forming new habits and new goals and having new things to shoot for in our life. So I like the four step approach to developing a habit. And you can also look back on the habit loop. We've discussed that in the past as well. But those are all great ways to develop habits that get you ultimately to your goal. So great topic from WW. And like I mentioned, overall, with the exception of yesterday, I had a really good week. But you know what? It's a new week. And I want to remind you guys of that. A lot of you reach out to me and say, man, I have just blown it through quarantine. Or some people even in my 90 day summer challenge have reached out and said, man, these last two weeks have been a complete disaster. I'm nowhere near 
my goal for the challenge. It's okay, you guys. Every day that you weigh in during the week, whether that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's a new week. It's a fresh start and it's a fresh way to get back on track. If you struggle getting back on track at the next meal or the next day, just set a goal to get back on track on your weigh-in day or when essentially your points or your calories reset for the week. So don't get be hard on yourself. Don't get discouraged. Every week is a new week to get back on track and just do your best to stay on track. We all make mistakes. We're human. We're not perfect. None of us have a perfect weight loss journey. If we did, we would lose a substantial amount of weight in a short period of time, which as you know, is a very, very uncommon. We have stumbling blocks. We have new habits to form. We have old habits to break. So don't beat yourself up. If you have a bad week, a bad month, times are tough right now. Life is tough for a lot of people and it doesn't seem to be going away. So we just have to forge new paths and make new habits to make it through and to reach our goals. So I want to hear from you guys. How did your week go? Leave it down in the comments for me. Let's chat. Let me know if you have questions or just need a little bit of extra motivation. Like I said, my week was good until yesterday and until today when my favorite time of the month started. But with that being said, when I stepped on the scale, I'm still down 0.8. So I'm down just shy of a pound, which in my opinion is pretty good considering everything that happened this morning. So I'll take it. That means I've lost every single week in the month of July. I should have a good weight loss overall by the end of the month. I can't wait for next week. I'm hoping that my good eating this week and my good eating the week that we're about to move into will really show up on next week's scale. So definitely let me know, how did your weigh-in go? Was it what you expected? Did you gain? Did you lose? What are your thoughts on taking a new path or forming a new habit? Also, let me know what are some of your long-term goals. By putting it in the comment section, you're essentially writing it down and we can all be there to support you in reaching those goals. So if you're new to my channel, I do weigh in every single Friday. We talk about the workshop. So if you're not someone that attends the workshops, but you like that little motivation and those ideas, definitely stay tuned here on my channel every Friday for that workshop recap, my weigh in. We have a little chat about how things went. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you watch my videos all the time, please take a moment and subscribe. It really, really helps my channel and I really, really appreciate it. We are trying to hit 30,000 and with you subscribing, that really helps us out. So thank you in advance. If you love today's weigh-in video and topic recap, give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul. And let me tell you, tomorrow's grocery haul is massive, massive, massive. It was a $400 grocery haul. So I have tons of new products, new things to share with you. I can't wait to share my meal plan. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's grocery haul. Thank you guys so much again for tuning into today's video. It means a lot to me. I hope you have a fantastic week. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you all in my grocery haul. Bye guys. Hey.